Hey what's going on guys, it's Convoy here and today I'm bringing you guys some Black Ops gameplay. I wanted to talk about the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 um, new killstreak system or as it's called in that game, the score streak system. Um, quite frankly I found this more interesting than uh, a lot of the other stuff that I found out about the Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Uh, for those who don't know there's been a lot of gameplay that's been uploaded. I'll leave a few links in the description for full gameplays that have been uploaded on YouTube from Gamescom and I'm sure we'll see a lot more within the next few days with Gamescom live streams. You guys can catch them on Twitch TV slash Treyarch. So um, today I wanted to talk about, like I said, the score streaks, and then why it's called score streaks is because it's not reliant on kills anymore to get to get your kill streaks now. Uh, pretty much what you have to do, as you see there, when I get kills, I get plus 100 points. When I get assists, I get plus 50 points, and those are the skills or, or those are the scores there that will help you get your kill streaks. Those are the scores that are uh, the new kind of bread and butter to getting all your kill streaks now. So pretty much what you have to do, like why I like this one, this kill streak system better than any other game, is because if you think about it in Call of Duty, you get points for pretty much anything. You can get points for kills, assists. You know, if you get double kill, you'll get an extra 50 points or an extra 100 points and all that kind of stuff. You also get in Black Ops 2, if you call in a UAV and your teammate gets a kill, you also get a little bit of points for, you know, leaving them an assist, a radar assist or whatever it is. Um, so that's pretty cool, you know. Uh, so that will get people to actually use you know UAVs or team based uh, kill streaks instead of just you know the big chopper gun or dogs all that kind of stuff so you also get points for playing the objective if you think about it capturing flags that's a hundred points right there you know planting bombs all that kind of stuff so it should be interesting to see how it works out but the only thing that I have that's a little bit confused that's that I'm a little bit confused about is the different game types um, as you guys know, if you play Call of Duty and you play different game types, there's different point values for kills. So it would be interesting to see how that kind of works out. Maybe they've uh, kind of made it universal throughout all the things, except for maybe Search and Destroy. Um, because that's, you know, there's less kills available, obviously, there. There'll probably be, you know, 500 points still for a kill. Um, so you'll be getting kill streaks pretty easily there. I mean, one kill in Search and Destroy will give you a UAV. Um, but we'll see how it works out. That's the only. Uh, questionable thing I have in mind but we'll see how it works out like I said within the next few days there will be a lot more information about it but it pretty much gets people to play the objective it gets people to help out with assists and all that kind of stuff and assists actually help you now and like I said it's it, it offers new variety to the game because people will play objectives you know they'll be running around trying to get their their point streaks rather than just sitting in a corner and relying on the, the solid kills um, and you know, hopefully, hopefully people will change their game style up a little bit and you know be more, um, be more mobile, all that kind of stuff. But like I said, the kill streaks are in the description below if you guys want to check them out and the point value, all that kind of stuff. But some notable ones that I think are pretty cool: the death machine is actually returning as a so as a solid kill streak, and that's uh, 600 points. So instead of getting it from a care package like you did in Black Ops, you can actually just get one of these things. And I really wanted to do that in Black Ops, so I'm glad that it's in Black Ops 2. Another one is that the RCXD car is returning. That's uh, the lowest kill streak at 325 points, and the highest kill streak here is the 1400 kills or 1400 point streak swarm. And pretty much what that is is you guys saw it at the end of multiplayer trailer. It was pretty much a swarm of hunter killer drones that fly above the air, and uh, you know when they see an enemy, they crash down on them and kill them. So. Pretty much, guys, that's about it. I just wanted to share that with you. Let me know your thoughts about the Killstreak system. Like I said, you can check out the information below in the description, and I'll catch you guys later.